Okay, I'm going to take you through the gallbladder exam. So, in the emergency department, you may have a patient with abdominal pain. The question is, who are you going to do a gallbladder exam on? The patients that you suspect cholecystitis or biliary colic are the ones that we're going to primarily be doing this exam on. The exam setup is very straightforward. Let me take you through it. We have our M-Turbo system here. It's already powered up and on. We have a selection of two different transducers. Most of you may already have this transducer. This is a phased array transducer. This is the same transducer you're going to use for the FAST exam and for echocardiography. The other transducer that you may also have is a curvilinear transducer. This is an excellent transducer, though you'll sometimes have problems with rib shadows. So you can use either one, but for, for today's demonstration, I'm going to take you through a phased array. So once you've chosen the transducer, the next step is to choose the exam type on the machine. To choose the examination configuration, it's very straightforward. We hit the exam key right here, and with the selected transducer right now, we can choose between abdominal, OB, or cardiac. And for this exam, we're going to choose admin, so I'm going to hit select, and we're going to be ready to start scanning. So I have the patient turn to the left lateral of the cubitus position, and I'd like to have their elbow up as well. The next thing I do is I draw an imaginary line along the costal margin, and we have an imaginary perpendicular line along the line of the shoulder. So then I'm going to put my transducer right about in this area, and I should have a very nice long axis of the gallbladder. So here's our transducer marker right here. Again, I'm at the costal margin pointing toward the shoulder, and I'll try to find the gallbladder. So when you're scanning the right upper quadrant, sometimes you'll have to have the patient take a deep breath. And what will happen is the liver will be pushed down and the gallbladder will come easier into view. So that's a little trick that you can use to see organs in the upper quadrant that you may not be able to identify easily. And what we see here on the screen is what we term the exclamation sign. The exclamation sign is the long part of the gallbladder here and a dot. And the dot dot is the portal vein. There to together, that is a very important landmark. I'll be scanning through the entire gallbladder in a long axis fashion, and then I'll turn the transducer just a little bit to the right, and I'll start scanning up to down in a short axis plane. Things that you can do to optimize that image. First thing you can do is change your depth. So in this gentleman, I may decrease the depth just slightly to do, sort of bring the gallbladder better into mid-center field of view. The other things that I can do is adjust the gain slightly. So I can try playing with my gain slightly higher, and you can see the image gets brighter, or slightly lower. You want to optimize these settings so you have good contrast of the, of the fluid fill structure, which is the gallbladder in the center, and you can also notice any artifacts. So once you've identified the gallbladder and you're happy that you can see the gallbladder in a nice long view, you have to carefully look for signs of a gallstone. Once you see the gallstone, you're going to then press gently into the right upper quadrant and see if they have signs of a sonographic Murphy. Now, we're all familiar as physicians with what a Murphy sign is, and that's palpation of the right upper quadrant and looking for gallbladder tenderness. A sonographic Murphy is much more specific, so we're going to press on the transducer gently and to see if that elicits pain. The next things you're going to look for are signs of inflammation of the gallbladder, such as fluid around the gallbladder that's being pericose pericholecystic fluid, and also gallbladder wall thickening. So we're going to look particularly at the anterior wall of the gallbladder and see if this is enlarged. And anything above four millimeters or so would be a sign of gallbladder inflammation. So when you're scanning, you're going to be carefully looking for signs of a gallstone. A gallstone will have a hyperechoic appearance, meaning it's going to be brighter in nature, and it's going to cast a shadow. A key point here is make sure that the hyperechoic area that you're noticing actually lies within the gallbladder. A common mistake would be to identify an area outside the gallbladder where it will look just like a gallstone, and that will be a bowel shadow.